click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in last video we have seen how to create your own exceptions. Now in this video we are going to see some feature which has provided after Java 1.4 and that is nothing but a chained exception. Now what do you mean by that? Basically uh, to a rough idea of it, if I am having a particular exception in my program and it got, it got caught but it may possible that that's not a real reason behind the exception it may possible that there is some situation happened and because of that some other exception occurred but which caused another exceptions totally different exception uh, which came into the picture and that got caught okay to handle such situation we are having chained exceptions so let's talk about what is chained exception <music> So basically, what is chained exception? Now let's have an example. Let's say uh, I'm doing some calculations and while doing that calculation, I, I came across arithmetic exception or division by zero. Okay, now basically, uh, this particular values I'm fetching from some file. Okay, and now I'm not able to read the file or some because of some IO exceptions, I was not able to read the file and because of that what happened is all the variables in that arithmetic operations has set to zero and because of it I got a division by zero so basically in this particular scenario is arithmetic exception is a real cause of the uh, exception no it's not so basically you are not able to um, what I can say you are not able to read the file that is IO exception is the main cause of your uh, exception and because of that you have got arithmetic exceptions so now I how I can even if I uh, handle arithmetic exception again there is a possibility that because of IO exception it may ag again occur okay so basically you have to fix the first thing that is nothing but your IO exceptions isn't it so what I'm going to do is I make my program in a such a way that it will tell me that real cause of the particular exception and uh, what's the real cause of that particular exception and what and what is the current cause of the exception now don't get confused between current cause and the main cause current cause is nothing but in my example arithmetic exception because this is one which is got thrown to me okay then actual cause which is the main reason of the arithmetic exception and that is nothing but your IO exception correct in my example so basically you have to handle your current exception as well as your what I can say your actual exception actual cause of exceptions so to deal with that uh, Java 1.4 onwards we got a feature and that is nothing but a chain exceptions okay so for chain exceptions to be handled uh, basically in throwable we already know what is throwable class okay uh, in throwable we have we got two constructors one is a, a normal uh, default constructor and another one is a parameterized constructor okay so we these two constructors we can actually use to get the chain exceptions okay apart from that there are two methods uh, which has throwable has given us that is one is a init cause and another one is a get cause so what's the use of it we will see so basically uh, let's turn to the slides now so the chain exception feature allow you to associate another exception with an exception okay so the main reason of the exception has to be associated with the current exception that you are getting so I need to associate arithmetic except sorry IO exception with my arithmetic exception so that is being done by using chain exception so the second exception which I'm getting it describes the cause of the first exception okay so my arithmetic exception which is going to tell me that it is due, due to IO exception so to allow chain exception two constructors and two methods are added in the throwables so as I told you throwable this is my first constructor if you see it is taking a reference of throwable okay and then I'm having 
another that is message that is the description about the exception and the another exception which actually caused due, due to this so cause exe is the exception that caused the current exception so these two constructors uh, which is available in the throwable class apart from it we have got two methods here one is a get cause so it will tell me which is the actual cause of the exception and for that you have to first declare the cause actual cause and that is being done by using init cause okay it takes the throwable reference over here you know throwable is a parent most class which can hold any reference child reference so that's why it is there so get cause method returns the exception that underlines the current exception okay and if there is no underlying exceptions then it will sh directly show me null okay null is going to be returned whereas in it cause it methods associate your cause exa with the invoking exception and returns the reference to the exceptions okay so basically uh, get cause is returning me actual cause of the exception and init cause is actually declaring the actual cause of the exception so now we will see one small program on that so that you can get a clear idea what actually child exception is so here we are having a small demo on chain exception okay so let's have a look what is it I'm having a class called as chain ex demo okay and in that I'm having one static method okay and that static method is demo pro here I have generated one exception that is null pointer exception so this is my top layer of the exception this exception is going to be uh, act as my current exception top layer okay then this null pointer exception I'm uh, going to be having which is going to cause arithmetic exception okay so here in arithmetic exception I have just given a description that is cause and then I'm throwing e okay so here e dot e is what it's a reference of your null pointer exception and to which you have given the cause that is arithmetic exception and then you have you have thrown e okay now what you are going to do in I'm in my program I'm having main method in main method I'm having try and catch block in try block I'm calling this method demo proc okay so basically if you see here I have not handled any exception fine okay so who will handle it the one who is calling it so who is calling this demo proc it is being called by main method so main is having responsibility now to handle this exception so now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to handle null pointer type of exception, okay? But this null pointer exception is leading or what I can say the behind scene of this particular null pointer exception is your arithmetic exception. So I want to know what actually caused null pointer exception. So for that, if you see here, I'm just printing the E, E will give me top level exception which is visible to us. But behind scene, there is original cause and that is nothing but given by E dot get cause. So what is that E dot get cause will give me? It will tell me about arithmetic exception. So here, basically you have set the actual cause and here you're getting the actual cause. Okay so let's try to run this particular uh, compile this particular program so i'm compiling it how you will compile it java c chain exe demo dot java that's the command you are having so let us check it out yeah it's got compiled properly now let's run this So now what it, it has given me first, what will happen? Uh, you will enter into the de demo proc. You will be setting the two exceptions. One is top lever and another one is a cause. Okay. Then when 
catch statement uh, handles the exception so which kind of exception it will first handle it's a null pointer exception so it will enter inside this uh, catch block in catch block it will uh, when you are uh, printing caught so caught what type of exception it's a null pointer exception which is a top layer exception so description i have given in here in the constructor of null pointer exception then i'm having original cause if you see the original cause it is being java dot lang dot arithmetic exception which is being given a message that is cause so if you want to in any exception your own description to be added then you can give it in a constructor okay so basically uh, this is the way you can actually use chain exceptions basically uh, this feature is not extensively used in uh, in a program but still it is available so in any case if you require it then you can make use of it okay so that's it about the chain exceptions do uh, like our video do share our videos thank you